this is my essentials demo account. Um, so there is no manufacturing functionality there. And then um, actually, let's have a quick look at Just Planet. So this is JustPlanet.com. It has a different branding than than uh, you know from Netronic, but it is built from us. And so we we purposely decided to give it a different look and feel because initially it was a product targeted to very very different market that. Um, compared to all the other Netronic products. Um, so I can log in there um, with this account here. So this is just Planet. This is how just Planet looks um, like it has a a, a resource oriented view so you see here a, a lot of work centers or resource cent um, resource centers you see resources and you see um, a couple of jobs that have been assigned with their respective tasks to these resources and you also can look at this from a more job oriented view where I see a job with a certain name I see all the tasks of the job. Um, I see some color coding. So green means actually this this task have been started, and they wait for being started here. So they are scheduled. I can move this around. So there's a lot of functionality you know from our NAV uh, products. Um, here is black. This is finished. Um, so um, there is a lot of functionality actually in here that you know from, for example, the visual production scheduler. The difference between all the other products from us that you know um, about and Just Planet is that Just Planet operates um, based on a scheduling engine that runs on the server. So we have some kind of automatic scheduling here in Just Planet. There is some finite capacity priority based space scheduling happening when you work with just planet so this is for the time being the only thing you need to know so now let's look at business central so first um when when i when i look for just planet we see that obviously I installed already my Just Planet extension that I downloaded from Apsos into my Business Central account here. And there is just one Just Planet page in here. And this is the Just Planet setup. And this is also a very, very minimalistic page. And it just says, okay, please give me your Just Planet customer ID, which means that once you were on the Just Planet website, um, let's go there again. Once you were on this planet website and you hit try now and you have your trial account, you enter in a software looking like this. Then you need to go to settings. You need to go to user management. And then you see this number here, which you paste and copy. Or which you, which you uh, select and copy. And then um, you paste it into this field here and with this you establish the connection between your business central and just planet so this is the only real new page that the just planet app the just planet 365 app brings, brings to business central however we also make some enhancements to some of the pages that you know so first of all you recognize that here in just planet we have a couple of resources. So we have resource groups and we have resources. So first of all, whenever you create um, a resource group here, whenever you create a resource group here in just Pl in, in Business Central and have Business Central linked with Just Planet in the way I showed you, then these resource groups with their number and their names they show up here in just planet so um let's look this is this is how we define resource groups and all these resource groups had been sent over from business central and likewise we are dealing with these resources here um so every resource that you create or most of the resource that you create to be precise um so you can create a resource um, like this resource number 10, cutting number one, shows up in just planet um, because these two are linked. The thing is, there are resources in here like Laura and Marlies and Michael that you don't see over here. 
And the trick is, um, when you look here at just planet, you see that in the background, some of these, resor uh, these resources have these gray and white stripes. This is the working time, which is white, and the non-working time, which is in, in, in gray. And this is typically information that you cannot add to a resource in business central resource planning, because you can just say, hey, this resource is supposed to work eight hours a day or 10 hours or whatever hours. And so we actually made with our extension or with the app from the app source, the Just Planet 365 app, we made an enhancement to the resource card. So now if I scroll down the resource card, I see something that is called Just Planet Calendar. And with Just Planet Calendar, I can actually define the work hours for this resource. So I define in a way that cutting one works from 7 in the morning to 3 p.m. and from 3.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. from Monday to Friday. And there is also a shift on Saturday. And I also said, hey, this is actually a finite resource. I also could define infinite resources. For example, if I want to kind of model um, a, a process step that I outsource. So when we outsource, then, then typically from my point of view, the company that I, I outsource to has infinite capacity, theoretically, and so I could also use this. So in Just Planet, we can actually deal with finite and infinite capacities. And here, this capacity, this resource is defined as finite resource with, these calendar, with this calendar. And now, when I go back to Just Planet, I see that exactly this pattern here is I start at 7 in the morning um, until 3 p.m. and then from 3.30 there is a shift break and then again I work until 10 p.m. and then there's the break again and when I look at how the resources is set up and just planned I see exactly the same informa information uh, mirrored here and all of these resources had been set up within Business Central and then with linking Business Central and Just Planet via the Just Planet 365 app, all these resources got created in here. So now we see also um, these jobs here. And, and let's look at the job from the job view and let's open one of these jobs. So this job has a name. Uh, we can forget for the time being of this information. And then there are a couple of tasks that need to be done and the, the tasks define basically the routing of the job. So we start in cutting, then it goes to drying, sawing, milling, drilling, and I assume there's some quality control at the end. We assign the resource group in this way and we can say how long it take to get this completed and this is shown here in hours so I could also show this in minute and I, I would assume that I see some values here that make more sense. So how to get this information now from Business Central? Well, in Business Central, um, in the Essentials version, we have items. And we all know these famous Athens and Paris and whatever items. And let's look at the Athens office desk. Um, when I open this item, then again, the item card had been enhanced by the Just Planet 365 app, and it had been enhanced in two ways. So first, under replenishment, there is replenishment system, and the options that you have here um, in the standard version are purchase, production, order, assembly, and we enhance this by JPI job. So this means that whenever an item is added to a sales order, then a job should be created in Just Planet. And the job is this here. This is one job. So now we need to tell Business Central what kind of job it should create in Just Planet when this item is added to a sales order. Well, if I scroll down further on this item card, I see the section just Planet routing. So this is also an enhancement of the item card coming from the Just Planet 365 app. And what you see here is that I defined a couple of tasks. I gave them a name, I defined the predecessor, I defined the resource groups, and these are the resources that I set up in my Business Central resource setting. And I defined a runtime per unit, so for every 
piece that I produce, like like if I produce one Essence Office desk, it should take 36 minutes in cutting, 44 minutes in, in this resource group, and 12 minutes quality control. So this is also an, an enhancement that we did. So what we recommend is whenever you say, hey, this item should create, should trigger whenever this item is added to sales quote, sales order, sales whatever, then it should create a just planet job. Then we recommend that you also give it a routing because then we actually can schedule this in a production schedule in just planet. So now let's look how this works. Um, let's say, uh, I'm a poor salesman and a customer is calling and he asks me to provide him a quote. So it is winter, so uh, the Alpine ski house uh, calls me and say, hey, look, uh, we have so many guests, we need a couple of more, whatever. We need a couple of more chairs. So they say, hey, could you quote me some, sorry for that, some Paris chair in black? And they said, hey, um, you know, we need 16 more. And then the typical next question of a customer is, what will it cost and when will it be ready? And here now on both the sales quote and the sales order card, you see the last enhancement that we did in Business Central Essentials via the Just Planet 365 app. You see that we have this planned end date and you see we have the production status. So this planned end date at the moment is empty. So now let's watch what happens in the minute I leave this quantity field here. So now I'm pressing the tab key and then you see these both errors, which means while they are here, Business Central is talking to Just Planet. And now already Just Planet gave back an answer to the when question. It gave me a planned end date. So now I can tell this customer, okay, look, um, this is already put to our schedule. Um, it will cost you 3,099 whatever euros and it will be ready. So production will be finished on the 7th of February. Um, at five minutes to five in the afternoon. So now let's leave this sales quote. So it is the sales quote 1019. So while you saw these two errors on the screen, um, we created actually a new sales quote here, on a new job in Just Planet. And with all this routing that I defined, this job had been scheduled to Just Planet. And so now for, for some reason, um, the production scheduler working, um, whatever, he has a downtime on CNC saw on whatever day and he makes some changes. Well, let's actually, uh, let's look at this. Uh, yeah, so let's assume this machine here has um, some, a planned maintenance on the 5th of February. So. CNC saw on the 5th of February and only on the 5th of February has no work time, so is down. And this is an exception to the standard calendar. So we calculate a new plan. You see the gray area here in the background and you saw that this got longer. So we now take into account that it will take longer to complete that task and then the successor automatically moved. Um, and so now this will be ready on the 8th of February in the very afternoon. So if I go back to just uh, to Business Central, then I see that this um, directly got updated or let's see it was the same date so it, we made it longer but it had no impact so maybe we need to close the February the 6th as well let's do this um, let's make this a little bit longer so that we actually move stuff uh, yeah so now this got moved out, it got longer, um, it, 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 here the machine is down, so we start with it earlier, but we cannot 
finish this on February the 8th, so we need to wait until Monday the, ele Monday the uh, February the 11th, uh, Monday, um, before we can finish this. And now, if I go back here, then you see that this automatically had been updated. So as long as you have established the connection between the Just Planet 365 app within your Business Central account and um, Just Planet, then both pieces of software communicate via an API and exchange the data in a way. And also you saw from Just Planet that there is actually here a job that have been started. This is marked in green and this is enhanced Just Planet functionality that I can explain in a follow-up webinar. But when we look at this, this actually is sales order 10123. Um, so now let's go back to my sales orders. Um, and this is this 101023. When I open the sales order here, as a Business Central user, I can also give my customer the information, hey, this is planned to finish in production on the 28th of January, um, and actually the guys in production already started to work on this. So we have that very close integration between Just Planet and um, Business Central, and so that, that with the Just Planet 365 app, you can actually enhance Business Central by Production Scheduling Functionality.